I'm Mr. Good Pliers, on location today in Cairo, Kansas. This is Resting Relics. First resting relic, we have this Dodge four-wheel drive long bed pickup. Got the venerable LA series 318 or 360 in that one. Probably the 360, judging by the four barrel carburetor it's wearing. And this old truck, been used and abused on the farm. Used hard and put up wet. Just beat in on all four corners. Wow. Check out the paint worn clear off that door. Down to bare metal. Critter's been inside, partied hard. Bare metal on the inside. It's an old truck that would probably have a pile of miles on it. Got the fuel tank, the toolbox, set of forks which are just sitting, not attached. Some of these old trucks had bale forks mounted in them, but this one appears it's just sitting there for storage. Another corner beat in. Bedsides flapping in the breeze. You can see there on the bottom, boy, the ten worms have steadily been munching on this one. Next, this one is going to be a 68 Valiant, which we can tell is a 68 by the little round marker lights, which were a federal mandate by the government in 1968. Now this one you can see has been chopped into a utility or as we would call it ranchero style or El Camino style as the Australians would call it a ute rather rather crudely done the idea was there but the Execution was marginal. Automatic in that one. As most Chrysler Dodges and Plymouths tended to be. Front end's in pretty good shape. Really a pretty attractive car, honestly. Next we have a Dodge, approximately 1981, 82, 83, somewhere in there. This old truck, still pretty straight yet. Wow, this one is actually, appears to be the four speed, what they called the granny transmission with a low first gear kind of spot that transmission being a manual and it makes me curious what they optioned under the hood so we'll pop her open here and have a look okay 318 and this one has been converted to propane Got the propane regulator there, and you've got your feed hoses into the air cleaner top. Close that one. And that is the fuel tank feeding the propane in. 
Next around we have a 1968 Chrysler New Yorker. What an attractive looking car that was back in its day. If you were a classy guy or gal and you drove this, you sure had arrived. Have the split bench with the folding center armrest in that one. Oop. That car had a unique style all its own. Very beautiful, classy Chrysler New Yorker. A little bit of moss marking its spot. Next we have, this one's gonna be approximately 68, 9, 70, 71 Dodge. This is a long bed. Very straight, clean old truck. We've got the push bumper on the front there. Charging posts. Doubt those are OSHA approved. Although in 1970s, they probably were not worried about that. Great, straight looking old truck would be a pretty good project if somebody wanted to fix that one up. Big back window in there. Next we have the Dodge 200. That is a three quarter ton four-wheel drive. Zoom in here for my four-wheel drive guys and see the worn locking hub. Catch a peek at that front differential there. As good of one as I can get. This old truck be a good project for somebody to fix her back up and make her nice again. This one's been somewhat abused in the inside. You can see the see the bed floors pretty pounded down there, but outside anyway. Still pretty pretty straight truck needing some work, but not completely far totally all the way gone. Then we have one that's had a few pieces robbed, but still fairly straight. Another 68, 69, 70 Dodge that would be a good one to fix up. This one has the larger oval tail lights. I'm gonna sneak in the cab here and show you the inside. Who? Yeah, it's it's rough. This one take a lot of work if somebody were gonna fix it or maybe better off as a parts truck. This is Resting Relics, Cairo, Kansas. Number one, I'm Mr. Good Pliers saying goodbye.